automate business tasks that would otherwise require you to spend hours doing them manually. Zapier is a great tool that can help you automate tasks easily between two or more applications. In this video, we'll show you how you can seamlessly integrate Zapier with Instamojo workflows. With the Instamojo Zapier workflow, you can automatically update a Google Sheet every time a customer makes a purchase or drops off on Instamojo, send a reminder email to customers with time limits if you're running events, update a mailing list on MailChimp or other major email service providers, populate paid ads or custom audience lists on Facebook, Instagram to advertise or retarget your customers. You can also build a deeper integration with apps like Zoom and Calendly with the Zapier Instamojo workflow. To do any of the mentioned activities, here's what you can do. Log into your Zapier account. If you don't have an account, sign up and create a Zapier account. Now click on Make a Zap. In Choose App Events, search for Instamojo. Doing this will help you connect your Instamojo account to work with any other application via Zapier. In the next step, choose a trigger event. You can choose between the two available trigger events. You can also set up separate zaps for each of these events. I have chosen the drop off trigger event. Click on continue. Log into your Instamojo account and click on continue. Click on test trigger. You'll be able to see your latest data in the test. In my case, I'm able to see my latest payment drop off. Click on continue to select your action trigger. This is where you can select what you want to do with your data and which app you want to make it work with. To populate a Google Sheet, do the following. Search for Google Sheets in the action triggers. Select update spreadsheet row and click on continue. Here, select the Google, Google account that you want to update the spreadsheet with. Choose the drive Choose the spreadsheet that you want to update, choose the worksheet you want to update and choose the row you want to update. You can also fill in some custom details like these that are available in the drop down. Once you're done, click on continue. Zapier allows you to send a test spreadsheet row to the Google Sheets. Click on test and review to check if your zap is working. Head to the Google Sheet. I can see that my zap has worked. My row has been updated. Now every time someone drops off an Instamojo purchase, this spreadsheet will be updated. Repeat the process for successful payments. You can create a separate zap for successful payments. To send a reminder email via Gmail, do the following. Click on create a zap. Look for the Instamojo workflow. Select your event trigger. Click on continue. Select the account that you want to use for this. Test your trigger, check if you are getting your latest details and click on continue. Since you want to send a reminder email via Gmail, click on Gmail. So if you don't see it over here, you can just search for it and it will appear. Since you want to send an email, click on the send email trigger. Click on continue. You must select a Google account through which you want to send the email to. So I'm selecting my Gmail account and click on continue. In this area, you can you can fill up the respective field details. Please make sure that your tool is always an email ID. So you can go to show all options and check for the email ID. Once you've done that, fill out your from email ID, fill out your subject line, fill out your body. You can also choose to set up a signature or a label mailbox and click on continue. Now that the email is ready to send, you can test to check if the email is being sent. Go check my gmail if it's arrived and yes i have got the email your reminder emails are now ready to send to update an email list on mailchimp do the following click on create a zap search for instamojo choose the event trigger connect your instamojo account test your trigger and check if you're getting in your latest data click continue here search for mailchimp Click on MailChimp and if you want to update an existing list, click on add or update a subscriber, click on continue. Connect your MailChimp account here, continue and choose what you want to do. Here you can select the list that you want to update. You can select 
the email here from the drop down options select buyer email you can fill in the payment purpose fill in the payment amount don't forget to fill in all the required fields because otherwise your uh, zap will not continue click on continue you can see that your data has been filled click on test and review log into your mailchimp account to check if your list has been updated head to audience under audience you will see the list go to view contacts and you will see that the list has been updated in the source you will see zapier as a option if you see this happening that means your zap is now working don't forget to turn on your zaps because if you don't do that your uh, workflows will not be activated you can repeat the process by choosing from a range of other apps and connecting your instamojo data to other apps make your business work seamlessly between apps with the zapier instamojo integration get started today